Iran's Kausar 222 missile, unveiled by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy on January 25, 2025, during the Great Prophet 19 naval exercises in the Persian Gulf, represents a noteworthy leap in the nation's indigenous defense capabilities. As reported by Fars News, this advanced surface-to-air missile demonstrated its prowess by engaging and destroying simulated enemy aircraft, highlighting its precision and reliability under operational conditions. Boasting a range of 17 kilometers, the Kausar 222 has been seamlessly integrated onto Ashura class and Zulfagar class fast attack craft, significantly enhancing Iran's naval air defense in the strategically critical Persian Gulf. Rear Admiral Alireza Tangsiri, the IRGCN commander, lauded its resistance to jamming, a feature attributed to its sophisticated radar and optical guidance systems. Positioned alongside the shorter-range Kausar 200, which operates effectively at 5 to 7 kilometers, the Kausar 222 forms part of a layered defense network designed to safeguard Iran's maritime assets from an array of aerial threats, including drones, helicopters, and low-flying aircraft. This unveiling, occurring against the backdrop of heightened regional tensions and persistent international sanctions, underscores Iran's resolute commitment to advancing its self-reliant military technology, a policy rooted in decades of isolation and necessity. Developed by Iran's Aerospace Industries Organization under the Ministry of Defense, the Kausar-222 is the latest iteration in a missile series that traces its origins to the post-revolutionary era, when Western embargoes forced Iran to cultivate domestic production capabilities. The earlier Kausar variants, Kausar-1, 2, and 3, emerged as lightweight, short-range anti-ship missiles drawing inspiration from Chinese designs, such as the C-701 and C-704. These models, equipped with radar and television guidance systems, were engineered to target surface vessels with notable accuracy, reflecting Iran's initial focus on countering naval threats during the Iran-Iraq War. The transition to air defense with the Kausar 200 and now the Kausar 222 signals a strategic pivot adapting to contemporary challenges such as the proliferation of unmanned aerial systems and low-altitude incursions in the Persian Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz. While detailed production timelines and quantities remain shrouded in secrecy, a hallmark of Iran's opaque military apparatus, the missile's prominent debut in early 2025 suggests that deliveries to the IRGCN likely commenced in late 2024 or shortly prior, with its operational deployment tailored to small, agile naval platforms optimized for coastal and nearshore operations. The Great Prophet 19 exercises, which also showcased AI-equipped drones, smart torpedoes, and advanced mine-laying techniques, framed the Kausar 222 within a broader demonstration of Iran's military sophistication, serving as both a technological showcase and a geopolitical statement aimed at deterring potential adversaries. In the regional context, the Kausar 222 occupies a unique niche among short-range air defense systems, though it contends with formidable competitors fielded by neighboring powers. Saudi Arabia, a key rival across the Gulf, relies on the U.S.-manufactured MIM-104 Patriot system, which boasts an impressive range of up to 160 kilometers and the ability to engage ballistic missiles, high-altitude aircraft, and drones capabilities that dwarf the Kausar 222's 17-kilometer reach. The Patriots' advanced radar and interceptor technology provide a comprehensive defensive umbrella, but its high cost and reliance on foreign supply chains contrast sharply with Iran's emphasis on cost-effective, domestically produced solutions tailored to specific, localized threats. Closer in scope, the United Arab Emirates deploys the Russian Pantsir S-1, a hybrid missile gun system with a missile range of 20 kilometers, slightly surpassing the Kausar 222, and excelling in rapid response and multi-target engagement thanks to its integrated cannon and missile armament. Turkey's Hisar-A, 
with a 15 kilometer range, offers a comparable parallel designed for low altitude air defense with an emphasis on mobility and autonomy. Bolstered by NATO compatible technology that enhances its interoperability with allied forces, a luxury Iran does not enjoy due to its isolation. What sets the Kausar 222 apart is its integration into fast attack craft, a deployment strategy that aligns with the IRGCN's asymmetric naval doctrine, prioritizing agility and swarm tactics over the static or large-scale platforms favored by its rivals. Its 17-kilometer range exceeds that of the U.S. AGM-114 Hellfire missile, up to 11 kilometers, a widely used helicopter-launched weapon in the region, providing a defensive buffer against such threats a critical consideration given the U.S. naval presence in the Gulf. However, it lacks the multi-role versatility of the Pantsir S-1, which can tackle both air and ground targets, or the long-range deterrence of the Patriot, which serves as a strategic asset beyond tactical engagements. Iran claims the Kausar 222's resistance to electronic countermeasures gives it an edge, a feature potentially vital in the Gulf's contested electromagnetic environment, where jamming and spoofing are routine. The inclusion of optical guidance alongside radar could enhance its performance against stealthy or electronically masked targets, though these capabilities remain unproven in open combat. Against the rising drone threat, a pressing concern for all Gulf states following high-profile attacks in recent years, the Kausar 222's precision is promising, but its effectiveness will depend on Iran's ability to produce it in sufficient numbers and counter advanced countermeasures deployed by technologically superior foes like the United States or Israel. Historically, Iran's missile development has been shaped by necessity and pragmatism, with the Kausar series evolving from its anti-ship routes to address broader threats. The Kausar 222's unveiling builds on this legacy, reflecting lessons learned from decades of conflict and observation of regional warfare. During the Iran-Iraq War, Iran faced overwhelming air superiority from Iraqi forces, prompting investments in air defense that persist today. More recently, the proliferation of drones, demonstrated by Houthi attacks on Saudi infrastructure and Iran's own use of UAVs, has likely influenced the shift towards systems like the Kausar 222, designed to neutralize small, agile aerial targets. Its 17-kilometer range, while modest compared to high-end systems, is well-suited to the confined waters of the Persian Gulf, where engagements often occur at close quarters. The missile's deployment on Ashura and Zulfagar-class vessels, which are fast, lightly armed boats, complements the IRGCN's swarm tactics, enabling rapid, decentralized responses to threats. A stark contrast to the centralized, capital-intensive strategies of Saudi Arabia or the UAE. Beyond its technical merits, the Kausar 222 carries significant symbolic weight. Its debut during the Great Prophet 19 exercises, timed amidst ongoing tensions with the United States and its Gulf allies, serves as a public assertion of Iran's resilience and technological progress. The drills, which paired the missile with cutting-edge systems like AI-driven drones and smart torpedoes, project an image of a modern, adaptable force capable of challenging regional hegemony. This messaging is particularly potent given the economic strain of sanctions, which have curtailed Iran's access to foreign arms and forced a reliance on domestic ingenuity. The Kausar 222, like its predecessors, embodies this ethos, prioritizing affordability and specificity over the broad-spectrum dominance of Western or Russian systems. Critics might argue that its capabilities are overstated. Iran has a history of amplifying its military achievements for propaganda purposes. But its successful test against simulated targets suggests a baseline of operational competence, 